So, like usual, the first job is to kind of sort out through my timber and work out how to break it down. For anyone who didn't see, I've got a new uh, table saw and this massive sliding table <laughs> makes it super easy to uh, straighten out a board. Um, just run it along the, the sliding table, run it along the fence and you've got a couple of straight boards. That made it easier to thickness up the timber and then once that was to the right thickness I could go back and actually square up the edges with the sliding table and the fence. Really fast way to uh, machine up timber. So I'm relying pretty heavily on this job, on this CMT front door router bit set. I've had it for years and I've never actually used it to its full, uh, well, the way it was meant to be used. And in this job I'm almost going to use it the way it was meant to be used. Um, it really helped to put this door together, although I, I still don't find that the coping bit and the style bit, rail and style bit, actually line up all that well. We always get some little issues with the joinery but it's pretty close. So with all the pieces cut and molded, I can mark out for the mortises. Now I was planning to use my benchtop mortiser, but it wouldn't go deep enough the way I wanted to do it, so I ended up just setting up my drill press and uh, drilling a bunch of holes. And then I spent the better part of a day cleaning out the uh, However many mortises, one, two, three, four, five, ten mortises. Saying earlier about the coping bit not quite doing its job properly, something was off by about half a mil, so I had to just trim out inside this coped area just a little bit, but ended up having to take quite a bit out just for the size of my four mil uh, uh, chisel. But anyway, it made things work, and it was good. And this big blank is one of the raised panels. It's a beautiful piece of uh, cordisol and sapelli. And these things machined up really nicely. I was super happy with how it worked, uh, how it machined. Um, the bit I'm using is actually my father-in-law's and it's been around forever and probably never actually used. So it's still really sharp. So you can see how crisp the cut was.
The top section of the door having glass panels, I needed to rip off some pieces of the moulding that were integral to the rail and styles so I could get the glass in. Um, so that was a little bit of playing around. I needed to work out the start and stop position of my blade on the new saw so I could do some stop cuts and but anyway it worked out pretty easily. I was originally going to uh, do my best at some hell tenons or hidden fox wedge tenons and if anyone saw my Instagram you would have seen that I, I did some tests and the sapelli was really brittle and splitting way too much so I ended up uh, just using some epoxy just because I felt like I should put something in there and, um, and then later you'll see I do some through dowels to pin the tenons in place. So that really just left making up the glazing beads to go back around the glass So this door's going in an aluminium frame on a brand new house, so I was given the hinges for that, that fit on that particular aluminium frame. Right, so I don't usually like to show off things when they've only got a primer on them, because they always look a bit patchy and a little bit shit. Um, but in this case, the client's going to do the finish uh, painting, so my job is just to get it to site now, well, obviously I've still got to put the glass in, then get it to site uh, and also put the lock in. So while you're getting over your shock of me painting the Sapelli, bear in mind that Sapelli is regarded fairly universally as an excellent door timber and especially external door timber. Uh, you, you may have seen recently the Wood Whisperer uh, actually made his outdoor gate uh, with Sapelli. Of course he clear coated it. Um, 
So it's a matter of the client asking for an excellent quality piece of um, furniture uh, and, and I'm making something that's going to last and they specifically asked for something that was going to last them, um, you know, this is going on a brand new house and that they want it to last forever. And whereas most of the things like this that you can buy from a, a shop, hardware store, they're made of like oil impregnated MDF and not going to last too long. And saying that, this is going in a fairly sheltered area, um, but it's still, you know, excellent quality work. And the paint finish doesn't really bother me. I know that it's a really good quality job under the underneath that, and I think that's what matters. So I meant to be adding a lock, or installing the lock on this door, but um, the client still hasn't got around to buying that yet, so this is it for now. I'll be back later when it's in.